<laughs> yes, it is, of course, a Friday and time to brave that awesome final frontier that seems to be extending every Friday with our discussions with our resident space expert, Jono Weltman from the Foundation for Space Development. And today we're looking towards the future and a not that distant future. Um, and it might look like a lot of sci-fi at the moment and the, the script of an epic sci-fi film, but it is a reality. We're talking base camps on Mars and possibly any other celestial body that we can cram them on. What's okay. the latest on the base camp front? Well, it, two weeks ago at the uh, Planetary Science, Lunar and Planetary Science Conference, Lockheed Martin f f um, fleshed out their base camp concept. And really what it is, is it's a space station, six-man crew that'll spend a year in orbit, and every single sci-fi movie you've ever seen <laughs> is crammed into this single, single base camp. Um, I absolutely love it. And I think people make the mistake of thinking that science fiction is fiction. But what else are we going to create beyond what we are actually, you know, our imagination is coming up with in the moment? And this is now, we've seen, you know, just it felt like a, a couple of months ago we were talking about possibly, possibly sending people to Mars as part of a reality show. Now it is a reality. What would a manned mission to Mars actually look like? Yeah, the idea of this base camp is that it's a precursor mission um, to send people to get much better imagery um, and understanding of Mars and where to land and where to go. So we put six guys in orbit and we give them tech like you've never seen before. We give them drones which they fly with virtual reality glasses. We give them full immersive technology so that they can walk what we call avatars. Yeah. Electronic people literally walking but using immersive technology on the um, space station. The space station itself can go very elliptical so it can hover over one spot and analyze that spot. They can drive rovers by joystick. At the moment, it's 25 minutes to send a signal to Mars. So turn left, <laughs> takes 25 minutes. In orbit on a joystick, you can do it immediately. It's instantaneous. And then they even want to give them a retro-boosted rocket so they can go down for two weeks at a time, walk around, and get back up to the space station if they need to. Um, and I would imagine a big part of the science there is also looking at the effect on the human body and on biology and that sort of thing. So I would imagine a huge amount of data capturing is going to go on in that process as well. Absolutely. And it's safer to have a controlled environment in orbit, because we know how that works from the ISS, for example, than it is to, to actually put a guy on the ground with, with no support. So that's why it's a good concept. It's a good precursor. It, it, does this kind of accelerate getting humans onto Mars? What does this mean for our future endeavours for putting people on Mars and other bodies, asteroids, the moon, things like that? Th this is, this is the, the government, the, the, the public sector timeline. 2028 is when they're proposing this base camp, and 2035 is when they, uh, you know, NASA and the 12, 13 other agencies involved in the, in the Mars roadmap are looking around then. Of course, the private sector, Elon Musk, wants to be there 2024. <laughs> so it's going to be interesting. And if, and if we know him, he will probably get it done. That's absolutely amazing. Jono, thank you so much. As always, mind blown. But you can let us know what you think of our base camp. Um, do you foresee us spreading through the galaxy with base camps across the universe? Well, you can let us know on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page.